What's going on everybody? I'm Dylan. I run Quest for Nostalgia. Let's talk about how to get your helmet sized perfectly so they fit you super well. So I see all the time, whether you're new or old to 3D printing, figuring out the scaling to sizes, people still printing things too big or too small and want to help you out with that. Also, if you're a 3D printer and you need to work on commissions for other people and trying to figure out how to get their head size and how they get the helmet scaled to them so you don't get returns or things like that, let me help you with a free file. And this is going to be super, super easy. We're not going to be doing things with Armor Smith for $40 programs or anything like that. It's going to be a free file and it's a super easy method to do this. And I got you guys covered. So let's go get that file and then let's go get into Cura and I'm going to show you exactly what to do and how to get this done. All right, so we're going to grab this file by Budwin over on Thingiverse. Budwin is fantastic. He prints so many amazing models and puts everything out for free. If you haven't seen the Red Ranger Turbo video, I did one of his helmets there. But he has these things called sizing heads. So that's the free file that we're going to grab here. He has four different sizes here and they're all numbered on the head there. But what's great is in the summary, it tells you exactly what the hat size is or the head circumference. So if you want to use a string around the head and get your circumference where a hat would lie, boom, there you go. Or you can just do your hat size if you know your fitted hat size by going to a store like Lids and trying on a baseball cap. So this is the file we're going to grab. We're going to download these files and these are the ones that I use. If you have a customer or you want to do this method yourself as well, hey, tell them to go to lids. Tell them to try on some fitted hats. It has a hat size on here. This is a seven and one fourth. It tells you exactly the circumference of here and get them to get it nice and snug here to where you have a nice tight fit. And now you know your head size and that will help you with choosing a sizing head. If they don't have something like a lids around there, just take their phone cord. Have them take their phone cord around, put exactly where a hat would go. And then once they have this, have them measure that. And then if you look at Budwin's file, it always it tells you what it is in inches, or you can look at what that size in inches is or centimeters and what that means in hat size, and then choose the head that is scaled to them. Super simple. So I showed you those four heads, but what if one of those heads doesn't match the size of your head? I'm gonna show you how to scale that. So let's say one of the heads says it is 22 inches as the circumference, and you already know your circumference. Say your circumference is 24 inches right? We're going to do old school math. 22 inches is a hundred percent scale of that model. So we want to figure out what the scale of the head you need is. So we're going to cross multiply. You have 24 times 100 equals 22 X divide both sides by 22. And that's going to give you 109.1 equals X. So that's the percentage you want to scale your helm, your head to. So you take your sizing head, scale to 109 all the way around every axis x y z and you're now going to have a head that has a 24 inch circumference so you can make it exactly what you need for you or for your customer all right so we've got the green ranger in looking nice let's go ahead and grab our sizing head i already know my sizing head which one i like to use um, i have a seven and one fourth head so i use the head three uh, i can also get away with using a seven and three eighths if i want a little bit more room for padding but let's load this in here and move it down. And so if we see here where we are, we're pretty close to the top there. The ears are clipping through there a little bit. The nose is coming through. So this helmet is too small for my head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and scale this up to 102. And that's gonna get rid of a lot of the issues. We're gonna make sure that we have this in the right position here. But yeah, you just play around with it just a little bit. You can load the back plate in too to make sure that you're good. But so see here, the nose isn't clipping there. The chin is looks like it's coming through the bottom just a little bit there. Let's make sure that we didn't do that by having this here. Okay, so this looks good. Are we coming through? We're not coming through the top of the helmet, so we still should be good here. A little bit of room around the ears there, and that back plate is definitely going to be able to. Um, cover that without clipping to the back of his, our head. I'm sure of it. So we're going to load that in there. Make sure you scale that to 102 as well. And that's how I do it. I just pick the head that is scaled to me and then I load it in here and I scale the helmet around, always keeping the proportions. I do not scale one direction or one size or whatever with it. I make sure that I'm always scaling it together so you don't change the proportions or the weird, you know, give it a weird shape, make it look super odd. Keep the file as, as best you can in the right order. Okay, so that wants to keep lowering to the bed. So, okay, so here you see, I have my sizing head in there. I have the helmet scaled to 102 
I know this is going to be a perfect fit for me. You can tell that the mouth would line up right exactly where it wants to be. The eyes are in the perfect spot there. And so if you have a customer or something like that, just get them to send those measurements. Use a phone cord, go to a hat store and choose the correct sizing head. If there's a size that's different, you can just use the math to it. I really hope this helps you guys out so you guys don't have to print a bunch of wasted plastic and you don't have to worry about commission returns or anything like that. You don't have to spend any money on programs. I hope this really helps you guys out. I see a lot of this question all the time and I just really wanted to get this answered for you guys and how I did all of my scaling and all of my customer scalings for all the kits. So hope this helps. I love you guys. Leave a comment below if it did or if you're interested in trying this and just to help this video get shared. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.